Hey, welcome to Extended. We're going to take an extended look at how to make washes and the difference between store-bought and making your own and how you can adjust them a bit. So let's get back down to the table and take a look. Okay, here we are at the table. Here are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a bottle of matte medium. You can get it in the 8 ounce, 16 ounce, whatever it takes. Also, you need some flow aid. And of course, the ink that you want to do. Black ink for black washes. Uh, a cyan ink for cyan washes. Also, you're going to want a 2 ounce squeezy container here with a good top and so you can control flow. The first thing you're going to want to do is fill 1 ounce with matte medium. Just pour it straight in. Next, you're going to want to make a mixture where you're going to take uh, nine parts water and then one part um, flow aid and put it into a cup where you can pour into the squeeze container. Next, you want to take your ink. And your ink is just basically your regular uh, uh, super pigment acrylic or um, any kind of transparent ink. La Liquitex makes a great ink. It's a professional acrylic. So the next thing you're going to do is get an eyedropper. Open up your ink after shaking it, which I did. Fill your eyedropper and put about 20 drops in. Now you could put more in if you want a darker wash or you can put less in if you want a lighter wash. I usually tend to go with a little bit of darker wash and you just count them out the best you can. Close up the top. Make sure you have the protector on there and shake it up real good. Now, as far as the water is concerned, make sure you're using distilled water. So it's 10 parts water, 1 part flow aid. And once shaken, there you have your dark wash. Just label it because when you do all the washes, even though they'll be dark, it'll be hard to tell them apart. And just make sure, especially with the browns, if you're doing a um, burnt um, umber or a dark sienna, you may just want to label them because they kind of look the same. And they'll be for flesh and so forth and so on. And that's how you make washes. And just squeeze out a little here and there. Well, first you got to cut the thing. Okay. And then just squeeze out a little. And you can see you got yourself some good pigment right there. Move around with your brush and you'll see where that'll go right into the grooves real nice. If it's too dark, just add just a touch more water. If it's too light, add a little more ink. Okay, I got a couple of test subjects here. Um, actually, this isn't even really painted. I just threw some white paint on here just to, to get an idea. And I've got a zombie here that is somewhat disrought <laughs> and old. Um, the main thing that I want to kind of show here is that if you just took the ink itself, and we're just going to take a little here, and just put it out, especially on something with flesh, which I'm going to grab this very old, old warrior here from a thousand years ago. And if you just take the actual ink, you'll see that how much it just doesn't do really anything. It doesn't even get, it just paints it basically a color. That's why we make the wash and we add the matte medium and the flow aid because it dries quicker. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take that off a bit. There we go. Now with 
with the what I'm going to show you is actually a, a homemade wash and a store wash. So let's just pour some of this. I know it's off camera, forgive me, but it just makes it easier. This is going to be the homemade wash. And you're going to see when I put it onto this white how it just it does the same basic thing that we're looking for. Now you can darken it by adding more ink into it. But as you can see, this particular wash I have is a very, very light wash. And uh, I only put 20 drops in that two ounce bo a bottle. So one ounce of matte medium and then uh, the water with distilled water at, at um, it's uh, one part to ten. Basically, I put nine parts water, so I'll, I'll put like nine ounces of water in there, and then I'll put a, a complete ounce of flow aid in there, and that helps everything out there. So, as you can see, the wash gets right in there and it gives good balance, but it doesn't cover up your paint job. What it does is basically just get into the recesses which we want. So I'm going to now use a little syrup. I'm going to use a, a little bit of our own, I mean, of a, a store bought wash. And you can see the difference here when we put that into this guy. This guy was unwashed beforehand. And you saw how the ink just kind of, kind of basically painted the guy. But when I put this wash on, when I put a wash on, you could see where it's starting to get into the recesses, it goes into every groove, and it makes a big difference. Let me wash this brush off real quick. And that's the that's the main part. Like I I've heard people take ink and just throw water on it. It's not enough. All you're doing is watering down paint, or people water down paint and call it a wash. That's not it. Using this method by by half matte medium and then your treated distilled water and then adding the ink as you want it in there makes a very very big difference. So let's take a look. At, uh, let me see. I think I got some here. Um, I do have, or I did have, or I want to have. I'm gonna have to cut this out. I'm going to go over there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a homemade wash that's kind of like a new oil. And you're going to see that you're going to get the same. Now this is this is not even a, a, a really I just threw some white on this figure because I know I have to do these for my own set figures I paint the set for charity but I can never do my own sets and all I want to do is just show you how this goes into the grooves and I just figured that this is a good figure to do it and you could see that it doesn't cover the white paint it just it darkens the white paint don't get me wrong but it doesn't paint the white paint and that's what you're going to get from your your wash and that's what you want from a wash because then when you go over the top with with the white you know you're not going to be blocking out the high points or the recesses and that's the that's the main thing there so there you go that's a homemade wash right there now let's take a look at a new oil oops I'll put him down and I'm gonna take this guy here and I got my thing a new oil here and we'll we'll compare them side to side we're just gonna go over there you go and this is the GW stuff which is the best stuff that you can get ever and I'm just going over this very old figure that I just happen to have laying around I've got figures laying around, painted figures laying around. And you can see in the whites and everything how they're pretty close. They're pretty similar. 
And with that, you know, with a bottle of this at eight ounces, and then your water and your ink, I mean, you can make more wash than you, I think you'll ever use in your lifetime. So, uh, you know, this last, you got to remember, you go and buy this. This is what you get for five ninety nine. This is only, only, um, I'd say an eighth of what what we need to use. It's bigger, and you're getting triple the wash out of it. And you still have enough to make as many as much as you want. So, I think, uh, you know, showing you guys this and how you can do it in different colors. You know, the flesh shade. As you can see, it's starting to get on this guy. Or you can do a little bit darker for darker figures, like our barbarian here, if everybody remembers him from the other week. And uh, that's the way to go. So that's pretty much how you, how you make washes. Do me a favor. Show me how, how you guys do, how you make out, how things go. And uh, if you have any questions about it or you're nervous about it and you just need me to walk through it, hey, leave me an email. I'm easy to find, NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com. That's, that's my personal email. I'm not afraid to give it out to you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm always there to answer questions. And I don't think I've ever not answered one question yet. So that's it for this week's Extended, and we'll see you guys soon. Let's head back up top and close it out. And that's it from Extended this week. Don't forget to check out all the stuff that I have going on. Uh, Battle and Brushes this week. We start the Age of Sigmar stuff. Uh, and I'll have a couple look at different games during the week and some painting videos. Um, the only change I think is going to be the canvas show that I'm going to do. I'm going to do it every other week because it does take a while for oil painting to dry. So getting until I get myself a good rack, uh, we're going to push that off. So uh, be sure to join me and watch for me on the Dice Tower as always. And also you can see quite a bit of what I'm doing here at my own channel. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.